start by talking about again your, your association with this, not just this event, but what you've done in, in general with food insecurity and all that. You know, it, it's been awesome to be a uh, part of this North Texas Food Bank, uh, them being able to donate so much, you know, just for the Texas area. But now, I mean, being with the Cowboys and starting my career here and uh, being part of this my first year. I remember when Leroy Glover, when he left, he said to Marcus, I know you're a big advocacy, you know, big advocacy for, um, you know, giving food, for serving. This, this right here is, will fit your identity as a rookie. And now, 14 years later, I'm still doing the same thing, raising money. Uh, to, to, to serve the um, DFW uh, area, and uh, it's just been awesome. What do you remember from the first time you did this? It wasn't in the parking lot. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't in the parking lot. The first time I did it was at the Gaylord. It was at the Gaylord. It was uh, me, Marcus Spears, Drew Pearson, and, I mean, just a plethora of all the Cowboys coming there. And I didn't know how big the event was until you walk in there, and like now, it's even bigger, but there was thousands of people, Dallas Cowboys, cheerleaders, you know how Jerry Jones does it, he, he, he does it big, right? And, uh, and you see how many people donated, and you see all the top restaurants and chefs coming in and serving their food to everyone, and you know, big donations, and uh, it's been great, and now you can see it now at the start, on a, on a football field, and the football field is almost full with a lot of people, and people come in here to donate, and it's just, it's just a great opportunity to still be part of it. You miss playing? Uh, you know, I miss the locker room. I miss the team camaraderie. I, I don't miss playing. Uh, every once in a while, I want to get to the quarterback, but uh, I still, I, I, I feel like I'm, I'm, my heart is not in football anymore. It's, it's just serving people, and, and, and I've been, in do, been doing fitness for so long now, and so now I feel like the locker room is everybody else outside of the stadium, and uh, being able to touch their lives, and uh, that's what I'm doing right now. And it's, uh, it's always a great opportunity to wake up every day. We see the, we see the videos you do every morning. Yeah. We didn't know if you were going to think about playing or not. <laughs> I think about playing all the time, but uh, my body, I don't know how long my body will be able to hold up because when I get after it, I get after it. You know that. And, you know, football is a tough sport. But now I get an opportunity to, to make my locker room everybody else's lives and be a captain in their lives, and that's why I got into fitness. And uh, that's why, you know, eventually I'm going to be calling on you guys to come on over. I got something for y'all. Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> y'all are coming over. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> and uh, but it, but it's fun and uh, it's, it's a it's an awesome career change. What's your advice for Demarcus Lawrence after getting the big contract? Now if there's probably a lot more eyes, a lot more pressure. What's your advice for him? The thing is, he he came in, he he made a big impact, and now a lot of the weight is on his back because you know him being a captain from last year and two years ago. Him being, you know, franchise a year before that, him proving himself. But now it's not time to turn the shuttle off. It's time to rock it a little bit. It's time to really try to shoot for the stars. And um, he's one of those guys that are going to be able to lead the team because they're going to look at him for that leadership, uh, especially defensive line where, you know, some of the guys leaving, he's at that cornerstone, that anchor on that defense that everybody knows and on the team. So it's, it's a lot of weight on him. And when you get that big contract, that solidifies you as, you know, I etched my stone, actually my name in stone with the star, but what are you going to do with it? And let's make that thing shine this year. Did you notice extra attention when you signed yours? Like, more people looking at you, more attention from the other team. I mean, what, what do you remember? You know what, I, I remember before the contract, I got triple, I'm sorry, I got double team, and then after the contract, I got triple team. So, <laughs> with, with, with the money, with the, you know, solidifying yourself as that team leader, as that guy, you, you have a bigger bullseye on you now. And um, and he's gonna really realize that that it's not just about him performing, it's him teaching everybody else how to perform to take the pressure off of him. So he can get out there and do what he needs to do. And uh, that's when the true leadership comes in. Well, him a little bit coming out here with practice and stuff. Where does he have room to grow? Um, I think always in the, in the leadership realm, you always have room to grow because you got new guys come in. Look, what 90 guys now that come in every single year, learning their personalities on and how you can implement your leadership role and your tenacity or your mentality in those guys and say, "This right here is how we're going to do it," and getting those guys to follow you. And uh, that's that good opportunity when you see how uh, good of leadership you have on a team and, and how the guys really listen to you. So I just think that for him. Uh, he, he plays well. He plays consistent, and you can never be too consistent getting to the quarterback, right? 
So I always say, you know, going in and having a mentality of how the teams are going to attack you because they're going to attack you differently and being, being effective no matter what. And, um, and see how good you make the other guys. That's always a test. What are your plans? Do you still have a contract with the Broncos? I don't, I don't have a contract with the Broncos anymore. Uh, I think it would be a great opportunity for me to, to come back here and, you know, coach the guys. I always say I want to teach the, the championship mentality. And uh, if I can come here at least two or three days a week, teaching them Wednesday and Thursdays, and um, teach the pass rushers how to pass rush, stopping the run. But then I always help the offensive line, like, uh, you know, Tyron uh, Smith, you know, with their technique. The thing is, I still can do it. You got a coach that can get out there, that can uh, not just say how to do it, but can show tape that they remember on how to do it, but then get out there and do it as well with them. And that's what you, that's what I feel like the team needs. Is that the ideal role? Hopefully, uh, you know, you guys need to talk to Jerry Jones and Stephen Jones about that. So hopefully I'll be able to come out uh, and I'm, I'm willing to do that. And uh, I'm, I'm home. So uh, I, I, I'm, re I'm ready for that. Is that the ideal? Say again. What were your thoughts on Leighton and his standout rookie season and just the strength of that linebacker core with Jalen Smith, Luke Van Der Esch? You know, when a rookie first comes in, I didn't know he was going to make that type of impact. And then I started seeing him play, and then Sean Lee coming back, and Jalen. I was like, that's like the linebacker core that you always wish for. And they they've solidified the defense. I feel like you know, on the defensive line, they, they, there's more guys needed, but with the linebacker core, I feel like they're really, really solid and they can get the job done. Yeah, actually, uh, I was talking to Witten uh, a while back, and he was like, DeMarcus, listen, I know you're not coming back, but we need you in the locker room. I'm going to talk to you know, all the coaches and get you back in here. And so I went on that phone call. <laughs> so, uh, But with Witten coming back, I think it's going to be a good thing for the offense, especially just the team to have not just DeMarcus Lawrence, but have you know Dak, you know, have Zeke, but also Witten that's done it to solidify, you know, that championship mentality. And I feel like they can go all the way this year. Is that the role you described earlier? Is that kind of a, a consulting role like that? Does that really fit what your lifestyle is now and, and how you want to contribute? And, and just real quickly, you're talking about DeMarcus earlier. Is the, when you have the target on your back, is, is the mental challenge greater than, is that where he's going to face his big, I guess dealing with the frustration because guys are going to come at you differently and take you out of it more. Yeah, I think uh, for me, having a consulting role, because that, it's all about consistency in the locker room. you got to come over here every single week so the guys get, they, they know you, you're credible, and they know that you know you have their back. And, uh, and with my lifestyle right now, I travel a lot, but I still want to contribute to the team, and that's why I want to be here every week. Um, but then with Demarcus Lawrence, like you just said, you know, we're having the bullseye on his back. He's going to have to turn up a little bit and, uh, and lead. And then and with Witten, the same thing. I feel like it, they have every single thing that they need to get to that championship game and close it out. And I feel like this right here is that year. This is that year that Witten saying, hey, I didn't leave that booth for anything. I really want to come and win a championship game. A championship, and we got a championship team. So I can't wait to see what, they, what they're going to do this year. All right, thank you. All right, cool.